Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Life of Guy. And yeah guys, for this vlog, it's gonna be a lot different from the previous vlogs that I did because I'm just gonna stay home and talk about something. And as you can see, I have this space beside me because I have a guest for today. One of my good friends, Andre Bushek. <laughs> I'll give you space. Stop hiding. Show yourself. Yay! <laughs> All right. So Andy has been my friend for a while now. Like we met in Fukushima back in January. So it's been like six, seven months. So there was a travel company here in Japan that was hiring influencers, and then I got there, and he was there as well, and I met him, and we're both doing photography and stuff. So yeah. Andy, why don't you tell something about yourself? I'm Andy. <laughs> really, really helpful. But Andy is from Poland and I am from the Philippines. So there's a really big culture difference between Poland and Philippines. And that's what I want to highlight in this video. So for this video, we're going to be doing culture game. So there's going to be three rounds of guessing game. So it's going to be guessing of traditions guessing of items or some things by showing photos and in the end it's going to be like a pronunciation game okay so are you ready andy without further ado let's start this game all right round one let's go so round one is going to be guessing game of item or a photo guess what photo it is so first i will show andy a photo and then he will have to guess what item it is or what's happening in the photo depending on what answer I want to get. And he would do the same. So all throughout the game, we can use one lifeline. And that lifeline is... That's the lifeline. It's called call a friend. Magic. <laughs> so whenever we need help, I'm gonna call some of his friends. And whenever... <laughs> and whenever... And whenever... And whenever... And whenever. <laughs> Excuse me. That was disgusting. <laughs> That's what culture difference, yo. So like in the Philippines, I think uh, burping is like kind of a normal thing. Actually, burping in the Philippines. Like burping is like to say hello. No, no. Like, it's like a, a greetings from the tapeworm. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a normal thing. I'm not gonna say it's a normal thing, but like it's kind of a compliment like when you're eating at somebody's home and then you burp while eating it means that you're gonna full visit and you and your mom prepares something i will just be <laughs> <laughs> it kind of means that you enjoy the food and you're full already because the food is good but for your perspective burping is kind of rude yeah it is rude yeah like generally europeans generally i think so a taste of culture difference so let's start the game John Ken Poi. So who's gonna start? You can start. Like you can show me the picture actually. Uh, I'll start and you'll start guessing. Okay, so for my first photo, you have to guess what this is. That's the coconut. Like a well yeah. Like <laughs> coconut shell. <laughs> Obviously it's a coconut shell. It's a coconut husk. So we call it bunot, but what is the purpose of this? What is this for? Bone? Mm. <laughs> You're eating a soup in it, like a coconut soup? You, yeah, you... We have bowls in the Philippines, come but on. This one like... is natural, maybe you're just like an <laughs> environment concern. You can ask two questions okay, during the game. Maybe you're using it to hold it when the kid's pooping and just under it. <laughs> Like you know, like under, like you know, they have to do it somewhere, and you just there's stop nothing. It. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. I, I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm gonna consider this as your first question. Okay. It's used for cleaning. It's used Something. for cleaning. What are we cleaning? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's like I'm giving the answers already. Right? It's called bunna, 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 bunna. What you can clean? It's not like a, it's hard so it won't be a sponge mm. <laughs> a sponge like it for the dishes it's too no, big it's not. you use it to polish something to polish something yeah yeah like maybe polish your teeth. it <laughs> <laughs> just going out it's huge it's so, it's just like a open like a really that wide I don't, I don't know why we don't use that but sorry that's not for the teeth we don't have that okay so maybe you just 
cleaning. I don't know. Or it's a Polish. So actually, then, why are we polishing? Actually, when I was in China, I was like with the school I was working in. They pretend to be a tribe. They, okay. Uh, we were just sitting, we we're just watching it, and they need someone. They took me, and I had to dance with them. The weird dance, and they had also the coconut. Uh, but at the they end, they this. gave they gave me the coconut, which I supposed to use as a bra. <laughs> so is yeah. it the bra? No. <laughs> what the fuck? So you just like put. Well, you got like stupid ideas. It's for cleaning something. Actually. It's super easy. Yeah, the floor. For cleaning the floor. Why would you think it it's used for cleaning the floor? I don't know, when I look at your apartment, so you think you need to scrub it like really? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. Huh? <laughs> you got it. Dirty. I thought he's, gonna, he's not gonna get it. He's but dead. yeah, this is a husk, so we use this normally for floors, but, but, but mostly but you wouldn't. How are you just gonna polish the floor by it? So Make you see the husk, like a... so you see the husk, this, like, sh this is very, not really sharp, but like there's many strands in it. Wood, sometimes they have splinters, something that's coming out. So it's not good walking on wood when there's a lot of splinters. So we sense. polish them by using this husk. We use another chemical, it's called but you don't... wax. We use wax, we put wax on the floor and then use it. And it's like dancing. <laughs> but oh, like... Never mind. <laughs> it's used in wood and also it's used in concrete as well. You got the point. You lost. Already. You got one point, come on. You lost. Your turn. <laughs> okay, look at that. What's okay. Are those? That, that's easy. Definitely this is a food. So what's the question? What's that? It's a food. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a food. So when you see the apple and you are going to ask food, you what's yeah. that, it's a food. Uh, it's a pastry. <laughs> pastry. There's no way it's not a pastry. It's this is not a pastry. A pastry. It's do, not... do you know what a pastry is? It's a bread. No, it's kind not of. It's made of bread. It's, <laughs> it's not, not bread. bread. It's not bread and it... What are you? But you eat this. Yeah. Is it good? Is it? That's not my question. It's yeah, good. Yeah, I got two questions. Okay. okay. The, uh, I got the two question. questions. It's good. <laughs> it's not my question yet. Of okay, course, you're gonna say it's good. Left. It's Polish. One question left. Ah, uh, my first question is: Is this vegan? Depends. What do you mean defend? It's just Depends. yes or no. The vegan, vegan thing is when the animal is not suffering at all. Okay, okay. And I don't Let know. Me or like maybe vegetarian. That's the different thing. The animal. I'm saying suffering. like I'm saying that is 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 there uh, an animal product in this food? Yes. Yes. Okay. There's an animal product. It's tricky because there's a lot of colors. There's white. How many colors could it be? It's not my question. Okay. It's just. <laughs> You were telling me about Polish sausages, which are a very famous in Poland, but I don't think this is a sausage. All right, I'm gonna use one of my lifelines. I'm gonna call your friend. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Mareszka. Mareszka, Mareszka. What am I gonna say? It's a. It's round and spherical. She's not online. Try Basha or Michal. I got I got three options. Mareszka. This guy is not answering. Basha. 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 She might be Basha. Work. Basha. <laughs> Come on, why? Oh, oh, it's, oh, you're only... <laughs> it's a weekend as well, so she maybe she's not at work, but she's traveling right okay. now. Like, if uh, not, then you have a problem. You choose the time for that. <laughs> Come on. Michal, you're my last chance. What is this? Michal is at work. No, no, Michal's gonna pick up. No, he did it. He said work. He declined you. <laughs> he declined me. I don't have any other ideas. Just try like, to guess. Because uh, this that. looks like because uh, there's white and there's brown, so I can. I, I would think this is a uh, chocolate, like milk chocolate, because like milk chocolate is not vegan, right? <laughs> nah. So you didn't guess it. It's not a chocolate. Mm -hmm. No chocolate. You lost. You lost. Are giving up? Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> it's not a chocolate. This is a sausage. No, oh, come on. What kind of sausage was it? Nah, I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I lost uh, the point. Yeah, you lost uh, the point. 
What is this? Cheese. It's a cheese. Sheep cheese or goat cheese. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Uh -huh. So you can eat, like you the, can fry it, like, you can eat. Why, did, why is it shaped like that? And where is there this because engravings? A, why do they do that? It, the, it looks nicer. It's just design of the cheese. It threw me out because of the design. <laughs> like, why would you design cheese like this? It's a popular yeah, cheese okay. in the Polish mountains. I should have we asked call it if this is like, I should have asked if this is vegetarian or not. Because anyway, if it's, it's a cheese if it's, popular in it Poland, is vegetarian, in the but it is not vegan. So I would just think of dairy products. Yeah, so it's really popular in the mountains. You can eat it with uh, cranberry. Okay. And you, you can, can fry it with, and with the cranberry. How did it? We just you can out. eat it without anything. It's kind. It's of good. Salty, I think. It's but is it good? Yeah, and it's uh, like a bit like a smoked cheese. Okay, what do you call it? Ostipek. 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 One, one, all one. Less. Yeah. All one, right? No, I'm Your point one. Is one. I'm one, you are zero. <laughs> Alright, this is my third item. It's gonna be a food. I was thinking of putting balut, but you already know balut. Yeah, salamat balut. <laughs> you already know balut, so this is my item. What is it made of? It's called Dinuguan. I'm gonna make you use your lifeline this time. You have to use it. Because you will not guess it. I'm pretty sure. Call a friend. Come on. No, I don't wanna. I already okay, I actually already gave you. Is it sweet? I haven't eaten. So you already know it's a food, right? Yeah, but like, that's why you're asking, is it sweet? It's not sweet. I can't describe how does it taste? I can't describe it's not sweet. Uh, it's it's a it. meal. It's a kind of soup and you put some stuff in it. But the main product, what makes it that, what it makes it look like that is the thing. Mm. The <laughs> thing! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, you asked one question. Is it sweet? It's not sweet. Come on, you had like a four questions before. I have no, like a six I questions do. now. Okay, uh, I think it's made of blood. Blood? You think we eat blood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why a, would you think we eat no, blood? No, there was a, was like a, a traditional soup. Do you know this? Blood. It's so unfair. Okay. Is it made of blood? It is made of blood. Okay, it's Dugo a bloody means soup. Blood. Dugo means blood. How do you know? I just guess. <laughs> so, is it? Blood. Okay, I didn't Dugo means blood. Yeah, it's made of pork blood normally and you put some other internal organs of pork as well, of pig. And yeah, I like it. Oh. I don't usually eat it, but when we have it at home, we eat it. I think there was a kind of bloody soup in Poland as well. It, oh, okay, it looks like that? No, 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 I never seen it because I never ate it and I would never eat it because like it doesn't look tasty. It doesn't look tasty, but it is tasty, depending on who made it. The thing is... Should be easy, huh? Yeah, that one is the easiest one. Come on. It's a pressure cooker. No. It's for cooking, obviously. Yes, yeah, it's for cooking, yeah. The, uh, like, not this? cooking, actually, but more for different things not the thing is is there like uh things like this like a vent for air to come out for steam to come out is there no there's and no. then it cannot be a rice cooker no it's not a rice cooker uh, we, uh, i'm not we, guessing we yet come on oh you don't eat rice no in poland the rice is not so common in europe you what do you eat, po eat uh, potatoes. potatoes i cannot i cannot, I cannot live in europe okay so what do you cook in this it's good not question. really cooking. Good it's not for cooking. Not for cooking. So you don't. You only need electricity. You need electricity. You don't put it in a fire or in a hot object. You just need yes. electricity. Yeah. One eternity later. <laughs> it's not for cooking. It's not for cooking. How you use it? You put. You put something inside. Yeah. You definitely. You put definitely. You put inside. something inside. You you put it in an electric supply and then you turn it on to do its thing. It doesn't have to be the same thing each time. So what does it do to the product? It depends on the recipe. 
Depends on the recipe. You said it's not for cooking. Why is there a recipe? Not only cooking is the recipe. Ah. <laughs> the purpose of this, why it's connected to electricity, is to produce heat. Yes. Obviously. So what are we heating inside? <laughs> How big is it? Like big. <laughs> like big. Like a a bit bigger than a fry pan, I think. That depends on this you can have like a small fry pan and a big fry pan. Oh, I think it would be like a that size. That, size. that like oh. you Ooh. could put your head inside, I guess. Oh. Or maybe not. If you chop my head. Uh, uh, you don't cook it. But you don't but cook it. But after coming it out the thing. product, you eat it. Yes. You eat you the eat product. It. You, you eat don't it. cook it, but there's a recipe. It's not a microwave. All right. So for my <laughs> for my second question. Second question. <laughs> I he had about like a four, five, six questions before in the no, first round. He got four questions and he was not, that wasn't a question, but I got the, the answer, second. but it's not a question. Additional, it's no. additional for the first. Yeah. Okay, my second question is... Your second question, sec 20 second question. <laughs> how, how does it, when it comes out, yeah. how does it taste? Good. <laughs> <laughs> sweet. Ah, sweet, so it's a dessert. It's not, it's not an oven. It is. So you bake it. You bake it, not cook. Bake and cook. It's two different things. Once you got the oven, you stop using. You lose. You're playing with the words. I'm not playing with the words. Cooking and baking is not the same okay, thing. Okay, I got the point, right? You don't have a it's point. A, you have a half of a point. It's it's a whole point. It's yeah, a I, whole I point. just confirmed it's an oven when you were it's an oven. Yeah, it's I got the an point, oven. Right? Yeah, it's like not oven, oven but like yeah. it's so things bake for cake. baking the cake. You bake cake yeah. With that. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So you have a half of a point only. That's one point. Not my rules. Half. My game, my rules. Come on. You're gonna <laughs> lose. And that's it for round one. <laughs> <laughs> you won. Okay. Well, mines are really easy. And the cheese part Mine is are super also hard. super easy. Cheese, I Come on, it looks like cheese. cheese. It looks like cheese. <laughs> Alright, let's start round two. So round two is gonna be about traditions. So I'm gonna give photos of Philippine traditions and he's gonna give me photos of Polish traditions and we're gonna guess why we do that. Okay? Hey. 